welcome. Today we are still continuing on our topic, the favor of God. Last time we saw that favor would cause us to achieve beyond our widest imagination. It will cause us to go beyond boundaries. Today I'm still continuing with our scripture in the book of Exodus chapter 3 verse 21. It says, And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. Hallelujah. I'm taking that place. Yeah, he said, you shall not go empty. When the favor of God is upon somebody's life, it's impossible for you to go empty anywhere you find yourself. It baffles me when I see people who are Christians, who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who belong to the kingdom, people that ought to be in the divine family enjoying the goodwill of God, tell you that in, the, in Christ they are to be empty. They believe that they are not supposed to have the good things of this life. This scripture we have just read can't affect that. The scripture say, when they will leave the land of Egypt, they are not going to go empty. That shows you the kind of father we have. That makes you to know, understand who God really is. He is a good father. He is a wonderful father. He is a gracious father who wants the best for his children. Jesus said, if you be evil, know how to give good things to your children. How much more your father in heaven will give good things to those who ask him? The father in heaven wants you and I to have the best of this life. He wants you to enjoy every good thing that he has put for you and I on earth. He wants you to live a happy life, a glorious life, a beautiful life. I declare over your life today that the favor of God that is coming upon your life afresh today, it will cause you to enjoy the good things of this life. It will give you easy access wherever you go. Everywhere you go, everyone who looks upon you, you shall find favor in their sight. Favor will make you to enjoy a walk of rest. In thy name of Jesus. Until I come your way again, keep enjoying favor. Shalom.